Hey everybody, Vermont dog trainer Ian Grant here. And do you wanna see how we socialize aggressive dogs that come in for evaluations? Stay tuned, you'll meet Georgia, a sweet eight-year-old pit bull that hasn't been around dogs hardly at all for most of her life. Uh, in the first video, you'll see her in the group for the very first time. Second clip will be her, me working with her inside of a smaller room uh, with a bunch of dogs that are just very chill with her. And uh, third video, you will see her just kind of hanging out with me inside of a very large kennel by the outskirts of a group. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. It's Lily. Yeah, you can grab her. <laughs> it's a nice, a nice moment. Right? <laughs> Just hang out right there for a minute. Who is it? Lily. Gemma. So you're, you guys are gonna see that this leash looks tight a lot. I'm actually keeping it straight so there's no slack to it. So if I have to or need to react, then I can. And, I, and personally, I always have to make sure that there's an escape route of sorts. There's a direction I can pull her if she decides to lunge or launch at anybody, then I can physically pull her out of the way to keep other dogs safe. So in this situation, we're just really looking for her to be, to sniff. That I'm not a big fan of. See, she's starting to put her, her, her muzzle up on top of the other dog. So this is good. She's allowing the sniffing to go on. I think I'm gonna get the tripod and bring it closer for you guys so you can see. So if she's fighting the muzzle, we'll actually reach underneath her chin. She's used to a nylon muzzle, but not this. So I just want to hang on. And depending on what kind of decisions she's going to make. Hey, if she can, if I can get her to stop with my voice, then that's even better. Hold on. You guys are going to go for a ride. Sorry for the excitement here. There we go. So I'm also gonna make sure that I don't have any dogs in between me and her, because that can be a problem. So you might see me dance around a little bit here, but it's just in an effort to make sure that there's nothing, nobody in between. So what am I looking for here? I'm looking for this, I'm looking for sniffing. I'm looking for curiosity. Even if she's not sniffing another dog, if she's sniffing the environment, hey, <clears throat> if she's sniffing the environment, then that's okay. 
And look, there may be more focus on the muzzle than there is on the dogs. But see, here's more sniffing here. So the thing about uh, aggressive dogs and, and getting them into this situation with other dogs that I know well, um, so that's too personal, sticking her nose up under. But see, like this is curiosity. But with aggressive dogs, sometimes getting them in, in a group of other dogs takes away their ability to target. Sometimes, not all the time. Not all the time. So again, this is all about the door. Got a dog in between, so just gotta play it cool. Hey. So I don't ever pull on the tool that is causing her the, the discomfort or what she's trying to fight off. In this case, a muzzle. And you see, I'm doing this with just this energy of just like, hey, I'm, I'm here to help you out. I'm not doing this for like a stop it, hey, quit it, anything like that. So she's eight, she's a pit bull boxer mix. Um, I don't know how much she's been socialized. So everybody's listening to next door. See everything just kind of freeze, the energy just freezes for a second. But this is why it's important to bring a dog in like this. So if you have a reactive dog, do not go to a dog park. That is not going to help you at all. Getting into a controlled setting is what's going to help. So this is her sitting on her own. Didn't ask her to do it. Didn't do anything fancy with a leash that told her to sit. Uh, but just the fact that she can be here with this group and not have anything bad happen as far as like them doing things to her will hopefully instill in her that, hey, nobody's actually here to try to harm you. So you don't need to react. Here's, a, here's an approach from another dog. That's good, so you looked up at me. And look, here's a good question for you. And you can answer it right out louder to yourself. Do you think dogs sense fear? Okay, now most people are gonna answer that, yes. So if they can sense fear, do you think they can also sense happiness, calmness, relaxation? Yeah, so am I proud of her for when that other dog walked right up? Yeah. You see her look at me and I looked at her and you saw the tail. I don't need to say good girl. She already knew what I felt. So why, do I, why would I say to her good girl in this, in this moment to pick her back up and then create a different vibe in here? So you notice you guys, the only dog I've really corrected in here is this one over here. That's it. This is a vibe that gets created So if she continues to do this, next step for me is just to drop the leash. But see everybody, this is like hitting pause on the movie right now, right here. Because nobody's really thinking about being in here, they're all thinking about being over there. So see how it changes? And then you got two back here, the other one you can't see underneath the camera. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna create some space from her here. Now look, there's a crowd that's gonna end up around her maybe. So here, just cause that dog has more energy. See, there's a way that you can kind of be a helicopter, you know, supporter here and, and not do it in a, that's a big deal. Another dog barked right at her. This is why we don't pull on the muzzle when we do this or yank up on the leash. It's not respectful. I want to do it as softly as possible. <laughs> Meanwhile, I got this horseshoe focusing outside. This is the re hey. This is the reality of what goes on in a daycare, this moment right here. 
I want to get her into a smaller group, see how she is. See, everybody stops for a second and freezes, sometimes even holding their breath. See, there's more sniffing. He's an old dude. She's an old girl. So you got to bring in the right energy first to, to assess. Hey, hey. See, she stopped before I reached my hand under that time. So she knows what's coming. She did in that moment right there. Hey. Cooper's here for a boarding train, a follow-up. Uh, we brought him back for a little extra work, so. Ruby, the German Shepherd back here is great. She's a daycare dog, comes on Thursdays. Uh, Riley is a previous board and train that comes to daycare. Chopin's boarding. He's been coming to me for, I don't know, eight, seven, eight years or something. Cooper, then you've got uh, Lucy Lou here, who's a daycare dog. Gemma, who's probably gonna come into the screen here in a second. She just turned one today. And then you have this. So you create a, a vibe around. And look, they all don't have to be interested in, the, in each other but they just have to be in the element to know what it is and know how to act. And then this is what you can get. So we just let this soak in. I call it marinating. She's just gotta be able to take it in and realize nothing bad is gonna happen. So I don't, she's not a truly aggressive dog. Must be there's a piece of kibble way in there but this is look you guys you have seen me this whole time not once give a sit command not a down command the change in the energy and the vibe of what I wanted in here created this so the dogs that came over these are these are my helpers I mean my gosh this is beautiful this is the reality of working with an aggressive dog like this. Sometimes this can happen. I mean, she's almost falling asleep. So now this kind of tells me maybe she doesn't have a lot of, of course at eight years old, she doesn't have a lot of stamina, but it's mental stamina, meaning she can tire out quickly. So this is why I'm not gonna do anything different than what the group is doing. If I start walking around, everybody's gonna walk around and it's gonna pick the vibe back up. So it's almost like you have to become one with the group. If they're chilled out, I'm going to be chilled out. And then you have one dog behind you, lying down that you can't see. And then my girl and everybody else here. This is the reality of it. I know it's not shiny. It's not, you know, dramatic. Nothing. This is, this is it. So I think she just started to shake a little. I thought I caught it out of the corner of my eye, but I guess not. Maybe it was just a, a deep breath. But if she were to start shaking now, that is her working a new muscle of learning what it's like to be in this setting. So this is easy for me to say, but you can't feel sorry for that. See, there was a little bit there. So here comes an approach. Whoa, did you see that? She almost started going back on her side. That would have been huge. Hey. So look, the vibe has changed a little. If she rolls over onto her side in this group, I, I mean, my gosh, that'd be huge. So this is gonna catch the leash a little? Nope, not too bad. So I try to look for all the little nuances, a look out of the corner of the eye, a, a dog that passes, like this. Look, look at this. That's a big deal. Think I feel good about that? That's amazing. And if I walked up to her and told her how good of a girl she'd be, it'd bring all the other dogs right around her. And now you've got four or five other dogs standing over a dog that has been previously aggressive. So not gonna happen for me. Look at that, big deal. So she's perked back up again. So now I've gotta, I gotta focus on her and who she's near, who she's with. 
and tendencies. He will correct if he needs to. He just gave her a growl. That's a big deal, sniffing. There's the return sniff. They may start playing. That's why I'm right here. Get this leash untangled. And you just keep doing this. Same thing. Same thing. Every time she rubs it, she gets her nose stuck. Hey. There. And look, this is just a touch. That's all, just a touch. So you guys can hear me okay with this microphone. So I'm gonna keep doing work with uh, Georgia. You see what it looks like. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer you. Let you know what's going on, give you my thoughts, anything like that. But this is how we do it.